Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. And in the last video, we showed you what you get when you install PrestaShop. Now in this video, we're gonna dive into some of the administrative functions of PrestaShop. We're gonna create a new account for maybe an employee of yours. We're gonna be able to set permissions so that person can't do everything. We're just gonna be setting up some administrative things. So check it out. Let's get started now. So we now have a good idea about what PrestaShop gives you on your installation. Now let's get started actually creating our store. Now under the administrative section of our admin interface right here, you'll see several options. We have preferences, quick access, employees, profiles and permissions, menus, and merchant expertise. This is the area that we're gonna be covering in this video. Now administration is how you can administer your site. And this is particularly where you would need to go if you need to add new employees or change what they have access to. And you can even change your own preferences. So let's actually first look at preferences. And preferences is just general site preferences. If you're going to want to check for updates, which I would recommend, you're gonna leave this as yes. You can also check the cookies IP address. You can leave it as yes. Set a lifetime for cookies, have some upload data quotas and stuff like that. And you can also have the help boxes turned off and on. Most of these things out of the box are set up the way you'd want them to be, notifications. However, if you need to come in here and turn any of these things off, it's just under administration preferences. Next, we have quick access, which is modifying the links which are in our quick access menu. Now at the top of your admin section here, you'll see this drop down, quick access, and you can see that these links here are quickly able to get to from anywhere in your admin panel. So if you wanted to get it to a new category, you could just go right here instead of having to go to catalog, categories, and then click a new category from there. So if you want to add links to the quick access or modify or delete them, you can simply delete them by clicking this X. You can edit them by clicking edit, or you can add a new one by this plus right here. There you can give it a name and what URL, and you can decide if you want it to open up in a new window or not. Okay, next we have employees. These are the people that have access to the back end of your site. You'll notice that all we have right now is myself and I'm a super admin. The super admin is automatically given to the person who creates the site. Now let's say we need to add a new employee. We could click add new here. So this person could just be John Smith and um, they have a new email address. Here we can issue them a temporary password. Uh, you'll want to make them aware of this password and that way they can log in and then change their own password themselves. Next, we can even select them to have their own default page. Let's say this person is only going to be creating and adding products. It really doesn't make sense for them to be directed directly to the dashboard when they logged in. They can go to uh, default page and then we could choose the products page and now that would be after they log in it would take them directly to the products page. Now you can even give them a different theme if you'd like. We have uh, several of these themes where you could actually check them out on your own at any time. Now next you can choose if you want the admin menu on the top or the left for them. Uh, it's probably just best to leave these as defaults unless you have a particular way that you like to work. And now you can make sure they're checked yes to be an active employee and you'll want to give them a permissions profile. Now a permissions profile is really just what access they'll have. Not every user on your site will need the same information. In fact, you don't want a normal uh, everyday employee to have access to be able to delete everything on your site, for instance. Or you don't want them to be able to change certain administrative functions. That way you'll give them a profile that you can create or is already existing that allows for them to only have certain access. So if we select permissions profile, you can see what PrestaShop comes with. We have a super admin, which is has access to everything. We have logistician, translator, salesman. And if you wanna see what these different permission profiles entail, we can go into that next. So let's go ahead and just select salesman and click save. Uh, it's letting me know that the password needs to be longer. I should have done that in the first place. Okay, and I'm gonna click save. Great, so we now have a new salesman, but what does that salesman do? Let's come here and we can see under our profiles is next. 
We can see that we have our super admin, logistician, translator, salesman. However, editing these really just allows you to change the name. In fact, if you add a new one, it's not going to do a whole lot. What you want is actually under permissions. So under permissions, we have our different user roles right here and we just created a salesman. So if we check salesman, you can see what they have access to. We have five columns here, view, add, edit, delete, and all. And you'll notice that they don't have access to do anything on the dashboard. If we were to check this, uh, they could look at the dashboard. You'll notice they have uh, an update successful. These little notifications pop up. If we just want them to view the dashboard, we could always check this now that they would have access. However, for the most part, a salesman is going to have access to the catalog where they ha can look and edit, create, delete products, categories. Um, they can look at your manufacturers, but they can't delete attributes, features, or tags or anything like that. They can also come in here and look at your orders and invoices. That way they can handle orders when they come in. So the salesman is really the person who's handling the orders that come in and the products, as well as your customers. This person should be maybe the person who can run the day-to-day -day operations of your store, but not access any sort of administration abilities, and maybe not even see what exactly the global overview of the store is at the current moment. And scrolling down here, you can see they don't have a lot of permissions. All of these things will be checked for the super admin, um, however, not for any of these other roles. Next, we have a translator. They have access to really just a few things, localization settings. They can change some of the CMS things so that way they can edit pages. And then they can edit product types and they can view search. Now, if you were to create a new user type, you would have to come in here and check all of the permissions that you would want them to have. This allows you full control over who has what access, and you can even take one of these existing roles and modify it to your best needs. Next we have menus, and menus is the administration menu. Notice how customizable PrestaShop is. If you don't want the dashboard up top, and maybe you don't want it at all, uh, you could simply click and drag and move it, or you could check and uncheck it if you wanted it gone. Notice how when I checked it, it's been saved and dashboard's no longer on our list uh, because maybe we just don't want it there. Or better yet, if you wanted to move it to the bottom, you could click and drag and move it to the bottom. If you wanted to edit this, you can also give it a new name if you'd like. Let's go ahead and click cancel. And last on our list is merchant expertise. Merchant Expertise is a gamification feature built into PrestaShop that shows you things that you've done and it's giving you badges based on what you've done. So we've gotten a badge for your employee's team account and scroll down. We have an installed PrestaShop badge. We have first customer registered on your store badge. And these things are really just to help you guide uh, what you need to learn about PrestaShop. So as you can see, as you progress, you get more and more badges and you can see how far you're getting about your knowledge in PrestaShop. So it's just a cool little feature. It's nothing crazy or super necessary. However, it might give you a good idea about what things you need to learn more about within your store. Okay, so this is the administrative section of PrestaShop. In the next video, we're going to be creating our first product. So check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.